This video was brought to you by NCIX. Great technology, selection, and service. How's it going guys? Eber here with Hubbard Canucks and UTEC Smart has released an interesting product for those gamers who rely on multiple controls at the tip of their thumb, specifically for MMOs and strategy gaming. This is the Venus MMO mouse priced at $100. UTEC Smart has gone with a nice ergonomic shape like proper ring and pinky finger support plus a small lip for your thumb that could be larger but it does help to separate the thumb from hitting these side buttons. The soft touch rubber surface in the mouse feels excellent although it will wear out as time passes and we've gotten accustomed to aluminum frames on gaming mice so the Venus feels weak and at this price point we'd expect more. At 150 grams the weight is average but it's always great to add a few more grams for those who prefer a heavier mouse so you can twist the bottom circular plate which exposes little inserts for additional weights plus a weight storing cartridge is included so they don't get misplaced an additional set of teflon feet is included in case you'd require a replacement so that's considerate the mouse has a high precision laser sensor with dpi up to 16400 a perfect example of pointless specifications on the box Higher DPI does not mean more accurate tracking, nor it is an indication of sensor quality. And my usual 800 DPI gave me the best suitable tracking experience. The mouse does track on white surfaces, but not on glass, so that's something to keep in mind. There are 18 programmable buttons on the Venus, 12 of which are located on the right side. As you can see, each column is angled that makes differentiation between buttons easier, plus for the most part, they all have a uniform click with really tactile registration. If you enjoy macro recordings, you'll love this. The first two columns are in perfect reach for your thumb, plus thanks to the variable angle on each set. With some muscle memory, you'll easily adjust to clicking the right button. The two rear columns were a little more difficult to press, requiring some grip readjustment as my thumb sits naturally more forward, but overall, they have nailed the side button placement to be effective for MMO gamers. The left and right clicks have a short travel distance with a very light press. There is an additional button for your pointer finger located at the tip of the left click, as well as the DPI shift buttons placed behind the scroll wheel with 5 DPI settings and clearly visible DPI indicators. The scroll wheel is quite loose without clearly defined scroll steps that's disappointing, but it is rubberized and easy to press. The profile shift is placed at the bottom of the mouse so it's slightly inconvenient needing to flip it to change your profiles, but it helps to have a physical switch rather than software only. We have four lighting zones, so the logo at the back and the macro buttons on the right side, then the scroll wheel and this cool illumination at the front. Now you can't individually adjust the color zones which I don't think is a problem as you'd want the lighting to stay uniform anyway and the 5 profiles are color coded on the scroll wheel so that's the only thing you don't have to control over. The included software could be less cluttered and modernized but at least we get all the needed options such as button mapping for the 6 buttons on the top as well as the 12 buttons on the side. With a pretty good selection of predefined settings, I think the fire key is useful for burst fire mode with delay in between. Macro recordings of course are needed with pretty simple configuration and many others that could come in handy. There's the acceleration, pointer speed, scroll speed, double clicking speed and the polling rate options for your preference with 5 profiles that are not stored on the mouse unfortunately, that is disappointing for the price. There's also the DPI adjustment where you can set the DPI levels with 5 steps. And in lighting options, you choose your color preference, brightness levels, and breathing speed, so I'm happy to see these standard options available. So the Venus MMO gaming mouse hits the market with a lot of positives, like the excellent ergonomic shape, 18 programmable macros provide flexibility for different games that might take advantage of it, and the excellent tactile response of the buttons really adds on to a much better gaming experience. Weight adjustment is a bonus and the additional included Teflon feed pads are much appreciated. The only thing lacking is the build quality and I definitely would love to see a sturdier frame. But what do you think? Would you prefer an MMO style gaming mouse or would you go for a less cluttered design? Make sure to check out our other mice reviews like the G502 from Logitech and Myonix offerings and some wireless options as well. Let us know in the comments below what type of mouse you prefer. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe for more similar content, and we'll see you in the next one.